Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to this short presentation with the topic Myopia, what's the future? My name is Philipp Hessler and I'm optometrist and researcher at Ernst Aber University of Applied Science in Jena, Germany. And it's an honor for me to talk about the new Oculus Myopia Master today. Before looking into the future of myopia, it makes sense for me to look back 10 years ago. Myopia control was not an issue in the market, was little known and there was no interest or just less interest. Myopia progression was considered as normal and explained with the normal growth process of the human body. Fortunately, that's not the case today. Um, there are some specialists in the market and myopia is a more and more increasing topic within international and national con congresses and the media. And in the last years, we have uh, several products uh, for myopia control treatment, especially in the contact lens market. There's currently happening a lot. And the future, we will look at this in this presentation. As already mentioned, there are many products on the subject of myopia control. In spectacle correction, there is uh, the multifocal lens or bifocal lens. Pharmacologically, atropine eye drops are used or there were some studies done with pyrenzepine. The big market of contact lenses uh, offers numerous possibilities. For example, multifocal contact lenses, orthokeratology, or special myopia contact lenses. And for prevention, there are just two examples uh, mentioned here, outdoor activity or vision therapy. In addition, uh, there is the possibility to combine various of these things. And in practice, I often find that many are faced with a big question mark because they don't know which method to recommend in which case. Myopia, Quoedis, I think almost all of you know this slide and the data of Brian Holden and that myopia prevalence will increase in the next decades, especially in Asia. We have a myopia boom um, in North America or in Europe. We have not that boom um, or that explosion. But why does myopia increase? I would like to briefly discuss the possible causes of myopia development and progression here. Uh, as you know, we can fill a few hours alone with it, but just short. Um, firstly, we know that genetic factors play an important role. The more myopic parents, um, the higher is the risk for children to get myopia or to become myopic. Secondly, environmental risk factors like near work or close near work distances play an important role. And what we often forget is uh, the visual performance. So we have the central or peripheral hyperopic defocus on the retina, but also other parameters of accommodation and virgin system, such as uh, near foray and accommodative amplitude or lack of accommodation play an important role for myopic progression. We have not one cause of myopia. There are several factors playing together. We don't know what's the primary cause of myopia and myopia progression. But what we know that the target group for myopia control is definitely huge. And again and again, we see small children with tablets in a very close working distance. Of course, school and school myopia play an important role but that also extends to university. Our lecture halls look like this. We have students having notebooks and tablets with them. And in the working life as well, digital media play an important role at all occasions. What I mean by that, myopia control does not finish with the 12th, 15th or 18th year of age, but goes far beyond. The target group is definitely huge. I would like to talk about the importance of axial length measurement. And we all know that an extension of the eye of one millimeter causes an increase of myopia of approximately uh, 2.7 diopters. 
Axial length measurement with uh, Myopia Master has several advantages. So we have an optical method without touching the cornea. So we can uh, independently of the accommodative status control myopia. And that's a very big advantage. And we can do myopia control even after refractive surgery. And we have comparable data for that. Myopia control is even possible after orthokeratology treatment. So we have with the axial length here a very, very good method. And we all know that the axial length is decisive for pathological secondary diseases of the eye that are mentioned in this slide here. So we have uh, CNVs, staphylomas, foveoschesis, retinal detachment, glaucoma or cataract. And because of this, um, the definition of high myopia changed in the last years a little bit. So in the past, we talked about myopia uh, higher than six diopters. And today we talk about axial lengths of 26.5 millimeters or more. After this brief introduction of the basics, I would like to start a new era with you in myopia control and introduce the new Oculus Myopia Master. The Oculus Myopia Master is a new standard in myopia control. It incorporates all FDA mandated criteria for complete myopia control. And these are axial length measurement, objective refraction data and central corneal radii. And what I find particularly nice is that Oculus has developed uh, some software to document further risk factors and to carry out a progression analysis. Let us now take a brief look at the displays of the Myopia Master. At first, you can see that it's very easy and very well structured. So we can, we can select several mess modi, autorefraction and kiltrometry or combine it with axial length measurement. The navigation is very easy and well known from other Oculus devices such as the Keratograph 5M. In addition, the measurement is very, very fast and not invasive, uh, less than one minute. When measurement was done, you see this display here. So we have the general data of the patient and you have refraction data with spherical equivalent that is the most important refraction data uh, for myopia control. And you have this image for axial length measurement and the central corneal radii. So this display shows um, the risk factors. Uh, this is in German here, but I will explain it to you in English. So we have a short questionnaire, um, including number of myopic parents, near work in hours per day, time outdoors in hours per week and a general uh, risk for myopia. And we see that traffic light colors and I experience every day that we talk a lot of about myopia, but parents don't understand the relevance of myopia control. And um, you see here in myopia risk, no risk is green. The measurement shows normal values and please have your eye checked regularly. Moderate risk, myopia prevention or control is recommended and red is myopia prevention is highly recommended. So we have a color-based severity grading here. This grading here is obtained by the specialists. In this display here, we see a possibility to present a prognosis. And this diagram is from a publication of Tiedemann. Um, and we see standard data for the axial length as a function of age. For example, if you have an axial length of 24 millimeters uh, at the age of 10, you have with 87% the chance of myopia in adult life and probably 9% uh, of high myopia. And this is a nice solution to make a prognosis about the change of myopia. And you can change this diagram with refraction and axial length. Another innovation is the myopia report and the myopia report is based on dry eye report. So we have individualized introduction here and a short explanation text. 
We have this diagrams for prognosis and risk analysis parameter here. And we have individualized recommendations so you can change them and uh, individualize as you need. The second page shows the risk factors uh, with traffic light colors that you have previously entered in the software. You can use it as standalone device and combine with the Oculus software. So if you combine it with the Oculus software, you can also enter further risk factors. For example, the ACA, a very important risk factor that may be elevated before a myopia onset. And uh, additionally, you can enter uh, near foria or accommodative parameters. What is the main advantage of the Myopia Master? It's the unique and first device for myopia control in the world. So we present the relevance of myopia prevention. It is a customer loyalty system. So children may come every half year for myopia measurement. There's no question that Myopia Master is a professional increase of service quality. You can establish your own Myopia consultation. With Myopia Master you have a clear and understandable documentation. And what I already said, you can use it as standalone device or with a connection to the Oculus software. But what is the future of Myopia at last? I would like to show some visions here. Myopia control should be a must for all optometrists and ophthalmologists. I would like a professional documentation and a consideration of the actual length. It would be nice to move away from lump sum care to individual solutions for every patient. And people's health awareness has gone up in the last years and I think it will continue to grow over the next few years. And um, that's why we should profile ourselves to get to see and not just prescribe new glasses with more minus. Finally, we would like to detect a tendency to myopia before the onset of myopia so that the known data of Brian Holden may not occur as bad and at, in this gray line, but rather tend slightly slower to that blue line over here. And that's the reason my Myopia Master was developed and therefore Myopia Control was refined. And I hope you want to be a pioneer in the future. Uh, thank you for your attention.